All right, guys, welcome back to our unique devotion for the day. There it is, get a little closer. All right, so uh, we're going to finish up Philippians chapter 4 today, and we're actually finishing up the book of Philippians. So another book under our proverbial belt. Um, so today is greeting and blessing. It's very short, but if thought of correctly, it can be very powerful. So here's the scripture. What is it? Uh, right, the most important part. <laughs> Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So, as the pastors say where I... Where my wife and I worship, um, we could unpack this <laughs> uh, in the many different ways. But what I want to focus on is greeting others and grace with you all. I, I just really paraphrase that dramatically. But as I wrote down here, greet with grace is more of a statement than a question. Um, now's the perfect time that as you go through the day and you greet others, to greet them with grace in mind. Not just being nice or, you know, uh, pleasant, what do you call them, uh, speaking in pleasantries. Oh, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine. But actually in your mind, thinking of what grace means, that even though they may do some silly things and they may do things incorrectly from your perspective, um, God still loves them uh, regardless. And you should think that same pathway, that even though they may not always do things the way you want them to do, or they may say things or do things inappropriate from time to time, or just complete wrongness, however, however it is, it's not good, um, you lay grace on top of that. And not, it's not about forgetting anything that they are, or, or sweeping it under the rug. It's about overlapping um, love and compassion regardless of their faults. Grace. So maybe see how it affects your day by greeting others with grace in mind right off the bat, even before they do anything wrong or incorrect for the day. Start off showing grace. Uh, don't wait for something to go wrong to try to force grace. Uh, I think it's called practice. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to think of grace as I greet others. And where I work right now, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's like three times the amount of people there normally is. I will have plenty of opportunities uh, to, to greet others and enact grace in my mind regardless of where my thoughts go. So, since we're at the end of the book, I do this every time. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take a few days of reflection. Um, I feel like it may... <laughs> and cats are having some fun. Uh, it, I feel like four days it may be better here because the next book might be a little bigger. Um, and I want to reflect on what I just went through in Philippians. Uh, Philippians, for some reason, really, uh, really stood out a lot more than normal. Um, two of the biggest things are grace and uh, not complaining. Um, in this in this book, in chapter 2 of Philippians, the writer talks about uh, not complaining, and that is, that is really hard. Not so much for me. I mean, I complain from time to time, uh, and I can get caught up in it very easy, but sometimes I feel surrounded by it. And uh, in, in acting grace, so in that, you know, can overcome so that I don't get caught up with others. Um, you know, just, just some really major things I really want to reflect on. But after those three or four days, I'll come back and uh, we'll start a new book. We'll, we'll work through. And so what I encourage you to do is to reflect on Philippians also. Um, maybe just randomly pick a page or if something stood out before, reread that scripture. Um, just take some general prayer time and uh, pray to God, do a little inward meditation, reflection on some of the things that you've 
you've thought of, some of the questions that were pointed out, you make this uh, an action time for you personally, not just a downtime away from scripture. Don't don't start doing that. Um, it can be very powerful if you do it in that way. Um, I did not, I'm not going to post uh, pump up music today. Instead, I'm going to leave it open ended. I have the playlists in, uh, if you scroll around on my main page of the YouTube channel here, you can see uh, I have a couple of playlists that are just chuck full of all kinds of music. You, you know, peruse through those, have fun. They're all good. It's all good music. There's no swearing, no craziness. It's all appropriate. Um, so you don't have to worry about that there. Um, and I think that's really it. Please like, subscribe, share this with your friends on social media, and uh, leave comments down below if I have not said that already. So, I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.